welcome back to another video. This week I am sharing with you some of my favorite quick and easy instant pot meals. Now I have been eating these uh, for the past couple weeks. I have been enjoying making them on Sundays and having them stored away in my refrigerator for me to eat on all week because I have so much going on this month. As you know, May, I feel like May's always pretty busy, but this month, um, us personally, we have so much going on. We are moving at the end of this month. I'm trying to pack up this entire house <laughs> and um, I'm actually enjoying it. I've been doing it for quite some time, but um, yeah, we're packing up the house. I'm trying to get my new cookbook out to you guys. It's the end of school. My son's birthday is in May. So we have quite a bit going on in quick and easy meals instant pot meals, meals where I can throw everything into a pot, set it for a time and forget about it. Those meals have been lifesavers. So I'm really excited to share them with you. I hope you enjoy them. I do wanna say before I go ahead and start the video that if you are new here, I wanna welcome you. My name is Tia and here on this channel, I just love to show you how you can live this way really easy. You can be healthy, um, real easy. It doesn't have to be complicated. So if that sounds good to you, I'd love to see you stick around. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and um, yeah, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of these, okay? I'll show you how I do it. So the first thing we're gonna do is I like to just add lots of carrots and celery in one onion and then saute all of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop this up. Okay, next I'm gonna throw everything I just chopped into my Instant Pot and saute it with a little veggie broth. Now you can do this on the desktop if you'd like. Not the desktop, what is this? Gosh, you can tell I've been on my computer forever. <laughs> you can do this on the stove top if you would like, If those for those of you who don't have an Instant Pot. Um, you just have to cook it until everything is soft. I do have an Instant Pot, obviously, and I love to use it because I can just throw everything in there and it cooks it really quick. So we're gonna go ahead and saute everything I just chopped up. Okay, after everything's in there, we're just gonna start just throwing other veggies and broth in there. So the first thing I'm gonna put in, um, in my Instant Pot so things don't really burn because this veggie broth is evaporating, is I'm just gonna be putting this very veggie organic juice in here. This is really low in calories. This whole, um, this whole container is like maybe 150 calories. So you can use any low sodium vegetable stock you can find. Uh, just make sure it's vegan. Um, and I would, again, get low sodium. Next, I'm just throwing in fire roasted corn. Um, again, you can put in any veggies that you want. Put in some peppers. These are obviously frozen veggies. You can use fresh if you would like, if you wanna cut them. Um, I know a lot of y'all know that I love to use frozen veggies frequently because it just makes things go faster. I know lima beans is always a good choice or a popular choice that people use for veggie soups. You can do white bean, you can do garbanzo beans. It really doesn't matter. Um, today, I'm gonna be throwing in just some shelled edamame. Next, I like to add in some potatoes. Now, my favorite potatoes to use are these little two bite potatoes, I like to call them. These are just Yukon gold, and but you can use any potato you would like, it doesn't matter. And then last but not least, I love to add some fun pasta in there because I find it helps my kids eat this a little bit more. <laughs> you can, you don't have to add pasta in here if you don't want to. This obviously is making the soup more calorically dense per serving, but I'm not adding too much. I'm just throwing in 
a little handful or two in, um, you know, when I sit down and eat my serving, I'm really not going to have a ton of pasta in there. So, but I will say you want to watch how much pasta you do use if you're not really concerned about the pasta, which I'm not. Let me say that. I love to eat pasta. But if we are trying to lose maximum weight, obviously you want your meals to be as filling as possible with the least amount of calories. So um, that's just why I'm, I'm mentioning that little tip um, if you want to avoid the pasta. But um, like I said, I, I don't mind putting the pasta in there, but I will say this. If you put a lot in there, you're going to have to put more of the vegetable broth or more veggie broth as well, which I'm going to be adding because um, the potatoes in the pasta will, like as this cooks, it will absorb some of the juice, which I learned the hard way yesterday. So I'm going to go ahead and add some veggie broth. Because we want this like a soup, you know. And this is still pretty thick, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. And of course, when this is done cooking, you can always add more broth later. Um, I'm just doing, doing this now. Put the top on. It's about time I clean my Instant Pot. <laughs> and then I'm gonna cook this on high pressure for 15 minutes. So let's check this out. Oh yes, this looks like it came out great. I love the amount of liquid in there. Perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and serve myself up some. I'm just gonna be adding just a small little handful of spinach just to help get some extra greens in. You don't have to do this. Obviously, you are getting you know plenty of veggies and fullness from the actual soup. I'm just doing this to you know be extra. Next, we are making such a good uh, potato curry. The first thing I'm doing is putting in my instant pot about half of a large onion and then two garlic cloves minced up. Now if you don't have an instant pot that's fine you can make this on the stove top if you'd like. After I saute the onion and garlic in veggie broth I'm going to go ahead and add in about three to four Yukon Gold potatoes. You can use any potatoes and you can use any amount. It just depends on what you want. I like about three to four. I just go ahead and chop these up. You can peel them if you'd like. I don't like to. Um, after that, I'm adding in some tomato paste and about five ounces of tomatoes. Now you can use fresh tomatoes if you'd like. Then I'm adding in one can of light coconut milk. Now if you don't want to do coconut milk because of the fat content, um, you can do any other plant milk. And then we're just going to add our spices, which are curry powder, garam masala, and turmeric. And again, I have the recipe in the description box with the amounts in there. Um, and it's probably good if you add all this, all the spices with the onion and garlic. I know, but you know, I like to mix things up. So it all works out in the end. So um, then I go ahead and throw frozen peas in there and a whole bunch of spinach. And then I love to cook this for about... 15 minutes on high pressure, and then when it's done, it comes out so, so good. I like to take a potato masher and mash up the potatoes to make them creamier, or to make the whole thing creamier, and oh, uh, this comes out delicious. Now on to this white bean and potato chili. I'm throwing in some chili powder, chili flakes, oregano, onion, garlic, paprika. We got cumin in there. Um, again, this is all in the description box. I'm throwing in cilantro and then potatoes. Now you can do as many potatoes as you want and as much white beans as you want. I went ahead for this recipe right here. I did two chopped up Yukon Gold potatoes. I'm adding in about a cup of frozen corn. You can use fresh if you would like. And then after this, I'm adding in about two cans of white beans. Um, now again, that, well, first of all, let me say this is no salt added, so I'm just putting them in right after I open the can. If you have salt added in your cans, I recommend that you strain the white beans. And then you can use white beans that you soak overnight if you'd like to, but this is going to definitely be the fastest. But with this recipe, 
If you want more beans, you can put more beans. If you want more potatoes, you can put more potatoes. So um, I typically will put in a, quite a bit of potatoes because I'd rather this be potato heavy than white bean heavy. Um, but today, for this video, obviously, I only had two potatoes left. So um, I'm going to go ahead and show you two potatoes. But again, it's your choice. We're going to go ahead and add in an entire carton, which is 32 ounces of veggie broth. This is, again, low, low sodium. I would definitely recommend that. Then just stir it up, put your lid on. I cook this at high pressure, about 15 minutes again. And then when it is done, I do manual release and take the top off, stir it. And then again, I use my potato masher to make it really creamy. Um, you can take the skin off the potatoes if you want. I, I like them on there, but this comes out so good, so creamy, and we all love it. All right, for this quinoa Mexican bowl, we're just gonna take an Instant Pot and put in four cups of water, and then two cups. I'm using frozen bell peppers, but you can, you know, cut them up fresh if you want. I just like frozen, it's easier. Then I'm putting in eight ounces of salsa. Now you can put more of this if you want a stronger flavor. Um, I usually put about a cup in there. And then after that, I'm putting about a cup, a cup and a half of onions. And then one can of black beans. You can, you know, cook these if you want. Um, just make sure you soak them in water. But I like to use can and I get unsalted BPA free can. So I went ahead and dumped that in. And now I am using fire roasted tomatoes. You don't have to do fire roasted. I just love fire roasted and then after that I'm just putting in two cups of rinsed quinoa and then I'm putting in one cup of corn I like to use frozen fire roasted corn if you haven't realized I love frozen stuff <laughs> frozen veggies I'm putting in a teaspoon of smoked paprika and then two teaspoons of chili powder and it accidentally falls out, but don't worry, it ends up tasting delicious. So put more if you want. And then I'm putting in a teaspoon of garlic granules. And then we're gonna give that a good stir and put the lid on. Now I like to cook this at high pressure for 15 minutes, and then I do a manual release when it's over, and it comes out so delicious. This is one of the easiest things I've ever made. Now this makes a pretty good amount. This is definitely probably about four to six servings. So this is something I'll make on the weekend and keep in the refrigerator all week and just eat off of it. But oh my God, it's so good. <laughs> Now when I serve this for myself, I like to put a lot of spinach in a bowl. And you can do, you know, if you want to throw spinach in the actual dish and kind of wilt it, you can. But I like fresh, I just like that crunch. And then I just serve myself up two giant ladlefuls, because I can. And there you have it. So good, whole family will love this. Assessor for this, I just felt like taking the long way for the video today. Then you're gonna need five cloves of garlic. Just mince that up really quick. One cubed sweet potato. About 15 ounces of black beans and then one cup of rinsed quinoa. One tablespoon of chili powder and one tablespoon of cumin. And then one teaspoon of oregano. I didn't have oregano, so I just used Italian seasoning. And then 32 ounces of vegetable broth. I would get low sodium. And then I'm going to cook this in my Instant Pot. I'm just going to put a little bit of veggie broth to saute my onions in. And then I realized my garlic was bad, so I'm just putting in a bit of garlic powder here and stirring that. 
I'm going to put in one can of tomato paste. Now you want to mix this really well so it doesn't stick to the bottom. A lot of times if you don't mix it well enough, you'll get like a burn um, alert on your Instant Pot. So just make sure this is not sticking to the bottom. And to do that, I like to put in a little bit of veggie broth and stir it around and kind of you know, scrape the bottom to make sure it's not sticking. And then I just put the rest of my veggie broth in there, pour in my quinoa and my black beans, give that a good stir, toss in my sweet potatoes, of course, and then top it all with the seasoning and put the lid on. I'm going to do pressure cook on high for 15 minutes, and that's it. So now that I've hit my goal weight, I'm going to go ahead and add me some delicious fat to this meal. This is not a lot. This is only one-fourth of an avocado. But if you were really trying to get maximum weight loss results, I would maybe abstain from the avocado. And last but not least for dinner, we had lentil marinara. Now I'm just throwing in an Instant Pot fat-free marinara broccoli, peppers, and a cup of lentils. Again, the whole recipe is in the description box. I've linked it to my blog post. I cook it for 15 minutes in the Instant Pot, and that is good. Now, it kind of comes out more like a bolognese, I guess. Um, if you want it more like a marinara, just add more marinara. But we like it like this. I like it chunky. And so then I made some whole wheat pasta, put a nice, Big old scoop of that marinara on top. You guys, this is so filling and delicious and full of fiber and protein. And then that was it for my dinner. Now, if you're giving this to your whole family and wanna make sure there's enough fat in there, you can definitely top it with avocado. I do that for my kids and my husband and myself sometime. So good.